Hey, all right, this is just going to be really quick here, and I'm just going to show you how I would do it. So come over here and click on text. Obviously, you know how to do this. Um, and this is my. Now, I would do this each line individually. I'm not sure if that's what you did, but I'm going to move. Oops these guys now with this font it kind of doesn't put the spaces in but that's okay we'll deal with that in a second so this is my functional did I spell that right <laughs> hopefully all right so I'm just going to kind of put these here Let's say that this one was too big. So we're going to, I'm going to make it bigger. Um, okay, so let's say that's bigger. It's also messed up, I'll fix that. Um, it's bigger than the rest of the text. So let's click on dysfunctional and see what number it gives us up here in the font size. So dysfunctional and family, vacation and shirt all show font size 72 right here, okay? What you would want to do is click on one of the words and then use the rulers here for measuring how wide you want it. And since dysfunctional is the largest word, that's probably the word that you would want to use as your measurement. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this um, six inches wide I'm going to scooch this over to the one inch mark. I could scooch it over to the zero, but I'm just going to leave it at the one. And then I'm going to drag it until it touches the seven there. And that'll be six inches wide. The other way I could do it is come up here and choose the size up here. I'm going to do 5.5 and push enter and it'll bring it down. And as you do that, watch the font size as I change the size. I'm going to push 6 and enter. It changes the font size too. Okay, so let's go back. Let's leave that there. And then I know now that I want all of the other ones to be at 86.4. So if I click on family, I can go to and just type in the numbers 86.4 and enter and it'll make it that size. Come to vacation, 86.4. Now usually when I end up with a font size that's a point something, I'll round it up or down. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it as that for now. <clears throat> 86.4, excuse my scratchy voice. It's still a little bit early here where I'm at. Okay, so now all of these ones are the same size. When you click on this is my, it's at 109, okay? So I know these other ones are at 86.4. I'm gonna come up here and click on this text, type in 86.4 and enter. And now all my text is the same size, okay? So now um, I'm gonna show you how you can align everything. Each line is a separate element right now. I haven't ungrouped or, or um, attached or done anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and drag my box all across here. Then you can come up here to a line and you can center them um, all horizontally. So this is gonna bring everything centered so that it's, everything looks nice like that. Then you can also have it distribute vertically. And this will put even spacing between all of your letters without having to go in and do it manually. So everything is all centered and um, distributed evenly. So now let's curve the text. Oh, and I also forgot an S, so let's add an S. There we go. So I know the spacing isn't correct on this yet, but we're gonna curve the text first. So I've selected, I've typed, you know, the text is typed, I've selected it, and now we can go up to the curve text option and we're gonna curve this. Oh, look at we should have done this first because now we're gonna have to 
move everything down, but that's okay. All right, so we'll do it like that. Let's select all of these, and I'm just pushing the down arrow to move those down. There we go. Okay, so now that we've got it curved, I'm gonna do it a little bit less. Now I wanna take care of the spacing. So with this particular font, it doesn't add spaces in between. So I'm gonna do ungroup, and then I'm gonna select my, and I'm just gonna use my arrow keys to scooch that over. And then I'm gonna come over here and choose the letters for this and push group, and then just use my arrow key to scoot that over. I'm going to now come back in and group those all together and then now I'm going to recenter it. Align and center. There we go. All right, that's how you can resize your text and align everything so it looks nice and neat.